How's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and I know it's been quite some time since I even posted a video of any type. Uh, the last video I posted was like a little short NBA 2K video, and I was thinking that I was going to get back into YouTube, but I really wasn't. So this video right here is basically a challenge I've been, I was trying to do uh, in Madden, the tallest, some of the tallest players in the game. You see we have Orlando Franklin, uh, King Dunlap who's 6'9". I didn't find a center who was huge, so I just used Marquise Pouncey. Was six uh, five. Alex Boone six eight. Toy Lolo was like six eight. I mean, these guys are enormous. The problem with this is that I felt like the size should have been a kind of a bigger difference uh, on the field. I couldn't really tell uh, too big of a difference, but it was fun to do anyway. Almost everybody's like at least like six three on the squad, which is crazy. You know, Michael Johnson six seven, six eight. Glass Campbell. I mean, that's insane. I think I have a D tackle. I have Tony McDaniel six seven. Uh, it's just big boys, dude. These guys are huge. It'd be cool if it make if the, if the size made a bigger impact. See Chris Canty, Eric Armstead, Eric Armstead. I didn't know he was six seven. That's pretty ridiculous. Brandon Bounder six four. I think Sean Smith's about six three. Iloka Alo six four. At least that's what they list him at. We have free safety Calvin Johnson who's six five. Quinn Copels, I think is six six. I think yeah six six. Uh, middle linebacker Dansby and KJ Wright both 6'4 so you know the size is insane you would think I'd be able to get a lot of interceptions uh, because of the height ability of my team but uh, you'll see in the gameplay and actually the thing about this gameplay is that it actually won't go uh, all the way through I wasn't able to successfully record uh, the latter portion of it but you will be able to see uh, I'm not sure a majority of the gameplay but at least half of it so uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happens when we get to that point uh, but yeah, I know I'm kind of apologize for not making a video in a while. It's not that easy to make videos, especially when you have like uh, work to do. But uh, like whether you're going to school or, or you're at a job or whatever. But uh, now I'm kind of back into it a little bit. So hopefully I can upload videos consistently, consistently, especially considering the fact that now for me, I have the I have uh, the ability of um, the uh, <laughs> the benefits of summer, I should say. And uh, so right here, we're going to start off the game, returning the ball, and Madden, it's been a while, man, it's been a while since I played this game, but uh, uh, right here, I thought I was going to be rusty coming into this game, so you'll see if that, you'll see if uh, the type of plays that I make uh, are based off of rust or not. Also on offense, I don't know if I talked that much about my offense, I don't think I did, but uh, Brock Osweiler is my quarterback, he's like 6'8 or something, 6'7, he's ridiculous, he's the guy I always think about when I think of a tall quarterback, I think Mike Lennon's pretty tall too, actually. Uh, now that I think about it, so I might have been able to pick up him. But right here, we're gonna throw a little angle out, out of the backfield to Alfred Blue, who is actually, I don't think he's actually 6'4 in real life. He's listed as 6'4 in the game, so that's why I picked him up. Uh, Latavius Murray, also 6'3, nice height. Right here, I just, I don't know why, I want to try and face catch. I mean, you can't really blame me. I mean, this late in the game, this late in the year, it almost doesn't matter anymore. Plus, I mean, I got 6'5 receivers all across the board, so I wanted to try it out if it worked, but. You see Brock Osweiler's accuracy isn't exactly on point. So right here we're on defense. You know, I'm probably going to, I want to do a full game, a full game uh, commentary one time just to show you guys the actual plays that I run, the blitzes and stuff. I don't really run a variety of blitzes, especially considering the fact that I'm going back into Madden right now, so I don't remember anything. But there is one blitz that I consecutively do that's uh, really uh, successful, and I think it's something that iMaverick actually runs. Uh, I don't know if he actually told people about the blitz, but I think we both run the same thing. In the, out of the 4-3 at least, uh, there's one blitz that's pretty successful. Right here, just a horrible pass. I really don't know uh, why I threw that. But uh, going on back to what I was doing in my uh, life in terms of YouTube, I was kind of going into NBA 2K15 at one point. I don't remember, either a month ago or something around that time. I kind of get, bo I kind of got bored of Madden. You know, I was kind of sick and tired of losing because of phase catching. And teams having uh, people having ridiculous teams, and I was playing really good players, so it was frustrating to lose. And you see right there, just a horrible pass. So right here, I'm thinking, oh my god, this kind of sucks. I'm, I'm almost. I hopefully I won't get down 14-0 right here against a good opponent. I already threw two uh, picks, and this guy's in prime position to take a two possession lead. But uh, I was super into NBA 2K15, and there, I realized there was a bunch of BS in that game. So I've been kind of bouncing back and forth. And right there, you see a user interception. So I could tell I still got a little bit of skill left in Madden 15 this year. I really can't wait for Madden 16 to come out. I know it's probably going to be like the exact same thing. I hope it's not, though. I hope they actually make adjustments because this, some of the stuff that happens in this game is just ridiculous. The way that it should work online is you should actually have to legitimately strut it, have a plan in how you're going to beat your opponent and not be able to run the same goddamn thing every time. 
if I want to double team a receiver, I should be able to do that. In this game, it doesn't seem like you're able to even double team a guy without actually having to manually uh, do it. And even then, that the the like uh, the AI or whatever the whatever the controls computer player is just horrendous. Like they don't really don't know how to actually defend in football. It's really poor. So hopefully next year they improve upon it. But I really like the, the concept of football in a game. Obviously, it's been successful in the past. Uh, Madden's been super fun this year. It's been even though it's been pretty cool. I've won a lot. Uh, which is cool. My team unfortunately hasn't been to the crazy standard that I put it in my head uh, to be, uh, which is unfortunate because I don't want to spend money on the game, and I'm not going to spend money on the game. But I really want to get like a sweet team without spending money one year, which will be awesome. But uh, hopefully this is just the beginning of some more videos that will come. Uh, I probably I don't know if I'm going to upload a video later today again, but I'm probably going to work on uploading videos um, consistently consistently throughout this summer so uh, hopefully that is a goal that I'm able to achieve and hopefully I'm able to produce a little bit more content I want to get some more games too for my PS4 so hopefully that will work out uh, so hopefully you enjoy the gameplay we actually do come out with a victory this game I know it's not gonna end up showing the whole clips but uh, I do actually come out the victory is a good game Fortunately, I couldn't I couldn't get all the clips to work so that's unfortunate but uh, yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. I'm going to be trying to produce some more. Maybe some NBA 2K15 will come out uh, later. Uh, who knows? But uh, now back into the swing of things, I hope. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a uh, short video, although I guess it's long by the standards that I'm usually used to. But uh, thanks for all the views and support. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.